Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode. It's the Cambridge Insider Podcast team. As always, your host, Stephen van Eckerk, New Jersey. I know the previous podcast, I did a funky, exciting intro. You know what? I'm down to business right now. No more funkiness for this episode. I'm just straight to the point. Craig Betson in Seattle on the West Coast. How are you, buddy? Uh, I'm I'm doing fantastic. Uh, I'm glad that we're straight down to business in this episode. Your your funky, cool guy intro last time really threw me off my game. I think the listeners loved it. I'll be honest with you. I, we don't know what the listeners actually. You know what? They can give us feedback on that and let us know which intros they prefer. There we go. Drop us a line. Tell us which intro you prefer. Um, we're in a digital world. We're in a virtual world, and therefore. Cambridge Insider Podcast, as always, cutting edge information. We've got a guest today that lives in that digital virtual space. I'm very, very pleased to welcome to the podcast Samrin Puhar, who is the technical onboarding, who works in technical onboarding and implementation at Media Valley. Samrin, who are, how are you? Good. How are you? And I do want to compliment your not so funky intro. I thought that was awesome. And you guys have a really good banter. It's like, I, f- I feel like I'm listening to serious radio. Someone should pay you guys to go on the radio and do this. Yes, actually. <laughs> yes. We would like that to, to be that on the record. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what the hilarious thing is? The intro worked so well. And then I looked at my notes and I got your entire job title was just threw me off. I know. I threw other words in there, so I apologize. And I know I wasn't going to say anything. So badly, I'm just going to let you introduce yourself, introduce your company, introduce what you do, because I'm just going to mess it up. Awesome. Well, I wasn't going to call you out. You're going to get me to introduce myself. Um, sounds good. So, hi everyone. My name is Simran Prahar. I do work at Media Valet, like mentioned. Media Valet is a digital asset management uh, provider. So a lot of you I know are probably using Media Valet, but what we do is essentially provide a platform and a software that is a centralized hub to store all sorts of digital assets. And I'm talking things like images, videos, audio files, et cetera. So that's what our company does. In terms of what I do, so I do, like was mentioned, uh, technical onboarding and implementation, which is really just setting up the system for new clients. So. As soon as sales signs a deal or signs a contract with a client, that client gets passed over to me or someone on my team. From there, I actually do the technical setup and I get the team kind of acquainted to the system, trained on the system, et cetera. So that would basically sum up my role, I would say. I'm just so, so pleased that you did that because my my 10 seconds of intro would have just messed that up. So welcome to the podcast. (laughs) Thank you. you you did it so well and it, it didn't sound rehearsed like you'd said it a hundred times at all either. Um, so we have been using Media Valley at Cambridge Network for probably just over two years now. And we use it with our schools. All of our schools that are part of the Cambridge Network are invited to join. We use this to be able to share marketing information, uh, upload videos, photos, and then be able to send them around the world. We use it also in a number of uh, other ways. We host our webinar series. After we record the live recordings, we post them on Media Valet and we can send them out Mm -hmm. to a number of different audiences and let people see them. It really is a great product that has helped uh, us, you know, grow our marketing and asset management. Yeah, for sure. So that's great. So with the pandemic have you guys uh seen any increases in media valet use through uh enterprise or business clients Mm -hmm. yeah i love that question i feel like we were in a very lucky place because we are a software company and in general tech wasn't hit as hard when the pandemic started and in fact because we are a product that really is conducive to helping people work from home and work on their own time and on top of all of that we are a cloud system we really did have a spike in usage in general amongst our clients. And that was just people that were already onboarded into our system. We're trying to use it more and more. And beyond that, we had companies say, hey, right now our marketing team is using it, but we really want to get this out and kind of leveraged across other departments, other teams, other individuals, external teams, et cetera. So 
we did see a huge, huge spike, I would say, in usage of Munster clients for a couple of different reasons, to be honest. And one of those, like I mentioned, is that our product is great for working from home. So the great thing, um, and you know, you can access it 24 seven whenever you'd like to. And that was really helpful for a lot of our clients because all of a sudden, not everyone is working nine to five or eight to four, because a lot of people have kids, they have families, they prefer to work you know, at 7 a.m. versus starting at 9 a.m. So with that being said, you're not sitting around waiting for someone to email you back some marketing files or whatever you're looking for from, you know, your marketing, uh, I would say collateral in general. So with that being said, to be honest, it, it really has been helpful to a lot of clients. We're getting a lot of compliments saying, Hey, you know what? I had to just log into media valet at 6 AM this morning because that was before my kids woke up and I just kind of grabbed all the files I needed and started my day using those files. And I did it all myself. I didn't have to coordinate between multiple people. With that being said too, our system, again, like I mentioned, has been rolled out to more and more teams and departments and individuals across our existing clients, which has been great as well. Because uh, like mentioned, you can access it really from any device at any time. And that's been very helpful too, because a lot of times before you might've been on a network drive or a hard drive at work or you know, just remoting in takes a lot of time and effort too. And remoting into your your work desktop from home can be a very uh, slow process. And I've experienced that myself at other companies. So I know accessing Media Valet is very quick and it's very simple to use as well. I mean, I can definitely vouch for that. I'm, I'm probably, and Craig will stand by this, but I'm probably the least tech guy um, <laughs> on the Northeast coast of, of the United States. <laughs> And uh, it really is a user-friendly uh, uh, product, um, you know, something that, that's easy to understand, easy to use. And again, for us in particular, when we're thinking about our business, being able to use it across countries, there's no firewalls that get in the way of that. So, you know, uh, mm -hmm. this certainly is something that if you aren't using it yet, reach out to your program manager, make sure they, they, they give you the down low of it and, and explain mm -hmm. to you exactly how it works, because this is a great product. And yeah, thank you. And I mean, kind of building on that too, it is so easy to use. We have people that, you know, are self-proclaimed techies who, you know, are very advanced and they love to use it. It's easy to learn. But we also have a lot of people who maybe didn't, you know, aren't used to software. They aren't used to using all these different programs, but they've been able to learn it and they love it. It's so, so simple and intuitive. We have so many training guides and so many areas to look for help. We like to consider ourselves uh, your dam partner down the hall, which means you can reach out at literally any hour and we will help you do anything you need. Um, but really, that doesn't even need to be used that often because the platform itself is so, so simple. And I think I think I agree. A lot of our schools use it specifically for um, marketing data asset management, which is fantastic, right? We used to have to ask school, you know, directors of international programs, directors of admissions to collect marketing information and then send it to us via email. Maybe they're a Google Drive school, maybe they're a Microsoft um, OneDrive school, and it just became really complicated. Through the use of Media Valet, because we can share links and invite everybody on to collaborate, it's really easy. Anybody in an organization can upload marketing material, can upload, uh, you know, a video or some information for that. One of the things I would like to hear more about is other than marketing material, what are some other unique ways that you suggest people using Media Valet? Yeah, for sure. So we see a lot of marketing material, like you mentioned, in all sorts of realms. So we see things from final products, so final posters, collateral, etc. But we also see a lot of work in progress uh, files as well. So sometimes you might be collaborating with a team or just one other person on some sort of project or campaign. That often, all that material gets uploaded to the dam uh, for any particular client, and they get to collaborate because Again, when you upload something to our dam, other people can go in and see it and touch it and edit it, et cetera. So we see a lot of that as well. We do see um, even beyond uh, a lot of that, a lot of videos in the dam as well. I know you mentioned you have your webinars that you're uploading into there, but we do have a lot of companies that have advertisements and things like that, and they put those clips into the dam as well. Beyond marketing, we do have a lot of sales teams that are in the dam. Um, we have a lot of HR teams leveraging it as well. Um, you know, just different departments leveraging it for different reasons beyond marketing. 
Um, and really anything that you have that's a digital asset can go into our DAM because we do have in-app previews of basically every file format you could imagine. So, and again, that extends to video, images, PDF, et cetera. So whatever files you think you could get into the DAM, you can. So if you feel like you have anything out there that you could get in, any new use cases, again, just reach out to your team. They can help you get all the content into there. It's, it's absolutely a great point. I mean, we have really enjoyed using it. Um, I don't want this to sound like an ad because it's not. I mean, <laughs> we, we we're mostly just talking about um, how beneficial it is. And if you're a partner of Cambridge Network, you already have access to this, which is fantastic. So last question for you. Um, is there any best practices with this pandemic era, working from home, everybody's at decentralized locations? Any quick tip suggestions you have for our listeners? Mm -hmm. Yeah, best practice. So I would say the first best practice is uh, just making sure that you follow any governance that your organization has laid out when it comes to uploading. So if they ask you to use a certain file uh, naming convention or a certain tagging method, method uh, can't even speak, any tagging methods as well, go ahead and follow that. That is extremely encouraged um, just because, again, other people will be using what you upload to the dam. Uh, so with that being said, if they're used to seeing some sort of convention, follow the convention. That'll be definitely very helpful. The other best practice, and this is more so an individual training thing, I'd recommend to anyone if you're interested in just getting into Media Valet, um, spend five minutes of your time just going in testing it out and doing a bit of searching for yourself. Um, we can search against all sorts of metadata in our dam. And I'd like everyone to go test that out. It's extremely helpful. And that searching extends to our artificial intelligence as well. Very, very cool, very helpful. So best practice there is just spend some time playing around with it for five-ish minutes. And I promise you from there, you'll be familiar enough with, uh, to actually use it uh, day to day as well. The other best practice too is literally upload everything you have into the dam. So the reason this is a best practice is because it's secure on the cloud. Again, everyone can access it. And then also, you know where to go to find it. So you're not trying to go between Google Drive and SharePoint and your local desktop computer as well. You know the one central place, the one central hub to find everything you're looking for is in the dam. If everyone takes initiative to do that, you all do not have to go anywhere else but the dam to find everything. So that would be the final best practice I'd recommend. Awesome, awesome, Simran. Thank you so much. Those are some great mm -hmm. best practices. I know that I need to practice some of those because I'm not um, 100% as good as I should be with the system as yet. But if mm -hmm. you are a school official, if you're a partner of Cambridge and you're listening, make sure to implement some of those really useful tips as well. You may have noticed that Simran's so much better spoken than both Craig and I. Um, and the reason for that is number one, she's smarter. Number two, she has her own podcast as well. So we're going to be adding that link into our show notes. Um, for those of you that are interested, uh, Simran did, did give us a little, little background to it, but it's really aimed at, at um, Simran, correct me if I'm wrong, but really aimed at sort of uh, female owned businesses, female owned organizations, females in the workplace, and just some of the challenges and successes that you see there. Is that correct? That is completely correct. Um, so unfortunately, you cannot come on in a as a guest uh, at this point. I'm sorry, but you can definitely listen. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's a great podcast. It's just a little project I started. But yes, I do feature in you. Uh, I like to call them girl bosses or just working women um, every week. They come from all different backgrounds, all different companies. And uh, like you mentioned, they just share their challenges and their career progression. And it really is there to inspire other ladies. Uh, reach their career goals. Awesome, awesome. Well, as a friend of Cambridge, we certainly encourage all of our listeners to to go and have a look at the show notes, click on the link and, and make mm -hmm. sure you give that a listen. Um, Mr. Betson, any final thoughts from your side as we end this up today? I'm trying to think. I, not I, not off the top of my head. Uh, the, the last little plug for Media Valet that I will give is they have this delightful webinar series that they send out often that um, I believe, I believe, Simran, are you a part of that? I am. So if you've ever listened to any, it's always basically me talking the entire time. As you can tell, I like to hear my own voice. So I get to do all <laughs> these talking things. 
<laughs> as do we all. That's why yeah. we have podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, I have attended a number of those and they are always fantastic. I have learned a lot. You, when I first started attending them, I thought digital asset management, I, I, I guess I don't really care. And then every time I attend one, I go, oh, that's kind of fascinating and mm -hmm. find ways to work it into my everyday work life. So mm -hmm. I, I encourage everyone to check that out. Yeah, and just kind of to add on to that, if you don't mind, um, we do range in types of webinars as well. So we have some more educational based ones. Uh, we have uh, ones that are based around certain industries, including higher ed, where we only talk about best practices for higher ed, for example. Uh, we also have ones where we kind of plug the different features that we have in the dam too. And you know, there's so many different types of webinars we do offer. If anything sounds interesting to you, you know, just reach out. We also have past recordings of webinars too. So if there's one that we did like six months ago, you can still have access to it. Just let us know. Awesome. Awesome. Simran, uh, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you mm -hmm. for, um, you know, educating our listeners, educating us and uh, to all of our listeners, Cambridge Insider Podcast, as always, cutting edge information brought to you by myself and Craig. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful week ahead. Bye-bye.